Okay. All right, guys. What is going on? It's Jacob here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my latest reaction video. Uh, today's video is going to be on Usain Bolt, who is one of my all-time heroes. He is definitely one of my all-time heroes. I would absolutely love nothing more than for him to still be running. You know what I mean? Still be out there, just like an NFL player would. Coming into the end of their career, you know, they might have lost a, a, a little bit of a half step in their speed, in their stride. Do you know what I'm saying? But they'd still be out there. But unfortunately, in top level sprinting and, and, if, and you know, setting not only world records, but triple gold medalist in the 100 meter, 200 meter and 100 meter relay, except for one. Uh, you know, that's that's... That's not something you can maintain for too long. But Usain Bolt did it for over eight years. Twelve years. He was at the 04 Olympics, then went to 08, then 12, then 16. He is an absolute legend. But unfortunately, not running anymore. Anyways, there's a video that came out not too long ago, titled, What They Never Told You About Usain Bolt. And I think it might have something to do with the 400 meter dash being that he never really ran it he certainly didn't run it at the olympic games so we're going to watch that first it came out about two weeks ago what came out about four days ago is another video on matthew bowling and look i'm going to be honest matthew bowling look i'd um i'd love to shake your hand because your video your my reaction video to you was one of the most popular videos and well-received videos on my channel in the year of 2020. So for that, I say thank you. And for for your career, the entertainment, the spectacle that we're going to see, we're going to experience watching your career throughout your life, I'm grateful for that too. And it hasn't even happened yet. But the guy who paved the way was Usain Bolt. Now, the video that came out four days ago on Matthew Bowling was apparently him setting some sort of 400 meter record and so when i saw that i was like well i've seen something on usain bolt possibly about the 400 meter so if matthew bowling is effectively the next usain bolt but he's already competing in also the 400 meter as well as the 100 and 200 he might be even greater than usain bolt do you know what i'm saying do you see what i'm saying so that's fucking exciting but what's even more exciting is this video here. Because Matthew Bowling hasn't done anything yet. Usain Bolt is a living legend. And we're about to see what they never told you about Usain Bolt. So let's go. This should be good. He's considered by many to be the greatest track and field athlete of all time. Look at him go. With nine Olympic golds, 11 world championship golds, and a stunning amount of breathtaking victories, Usain Bolt has cemented his name as the greatest male sprinter of all time. Absolutely. No doubt in From the world. 2008 through 2016, he was simply on another level of speed. Race after race, year after year. His and I enjoyed every single one. Human. However, there is something else that many do not realize about this Jamaican legend. And that's that at the young age of 16, he was considered by many not to be the future of the 100 or the 200, but the future of the 400 meters. You're kidding. You're kidding. He began in the 400? 2003, Bolt entered the Jamaican High School National Championships in the 400 meters. At the time, he was actually the defending world junior champion over the 200 meters. However, on this day... It doesn't even look Bolt, like Usain Bolt. Look at him run. Defending world junior champion. It, it doesn't even look like him. He worked on his technique, didn't he? Over the 200 meters. However, on this day in the one lap race, his time was so fast that it improved on the previous national high school record. Look well at him go. Look second. at those strides. I mean, he's the same conditions. height as them, but his this stride is, is so long. It's like he's just got different tendons, right? It's almost like he's built like a kangaroo. You know what I'm saying? There's just, there's just more spring in his step than most other men. And he doesn't have an ounce of fat on him. So, I mean, that helps. Completely crushed the previous record with a ridiculous time of 45.35 seconds. 45.35 seconds. This made him the second Remember that. 16-year-old athlete of all time in the 400 meters, only running slower than the legendary Obi Moore from 1995. 
Given that this time was done in the rain and that he eased up over the final few meters, it was quite clear that his 400 meter potential was much higher. And then just one month later, he would run one of the most stunning 4x400 meter relay legs in high school it's history. It's not over? For this particular race, I want you to pay attention to just how far behind Usain Bolt is from the front runner. Oh By shit! Estimate, <laughs> I didn't even see him! 30 meters behind. However, over the next lap, he showcased one of the greatest sprinting achievements in high school history. Down the back stretch, he powered away effortlessly from his wow. competitors. And coming through the final 100 meters, well, there was simply nobody that was going to catch him. Now, I've watched this race many, many times. It's the first After time I've seen his it. his performance on numerous occasions, I've clocked this 16-year-old Bolt at 44.8 seconds. A pretty remarkable time for such a young athlete. The potential of Usain Bolt in the 400 meters was nearly limitless. But as we all know, his future would be in the 100 and the 200 meters. Oh, guys, I've got goosebumps, man, looking at this well shit. Those, those angles, those camera angles, man. He was already six foot in the 100 meter sprint. Absolutely towering over his peers. With Usain Bolt ran, leading the charge. It made him look like he was a sprinting superhero. There ain't nothing like it. This larger stature certainly made him fun to watch. And it was very easy to and think about the crowd. When he but got so far ahead was, that he relaxed for the last 10, 10 meters. I mean, he didn't know what he was going to do. He might turn to the so crowd. He might turn backwards. He might do a cartwheel. No, he never did Just that. One year after well, he might have actually. Performances, Bolt would silence any doubters of his 200 meter oh my talents, God. running a time of 19.93 seconds at just 17, making him the first junior yeah, athlete 400 was out the door. In the Let's do the 200 instead. This Under 20 seconds. And it was certainly a strong foreshadowing moment of his 200 meter dominance. But the question still remains, how fast could Bolt have Yeah, how fast could he have been? That, that is the question. That attention. is the question. What is the world record? In order to see success in the 400 meters, an athlete needs tremendous strength in addition to natural speed. Now, Bolt certainly has natural speed. There's literally no one that would disagree with that. But he rarely brought out his 400 meter strength in competition. The 400 meter is just brutal. Instead of building up additional muscle throughout his career, oh, it's... Bolt maintained a leaner and lighter stature, and he trained nothing like the 100 meters. The 400 meters. Indeed, if he had done this, track history would likely be quite different. But it's also hard to imagine that Bolt would not have been an absolute killer in the 400 meters. He already made running under 45 seconds at just 16 look quite easy. So just imagine what he could have accomplished at 18 years old, or even 20, or even 22 for that matter. One clear example that showcases his undeniable 400 meter potential comes from the 2010 Diamond League meeting in Ostrava. On this day, 300. Bolt competed in the 300 meter okay. distance. Okay, interesting. And despite not ever running this distance, let's have a pass, look at this. He still ran the second fastest performance in the history of the 300 meters at the time. This performance completely destroyed the field. Oh my god, he could have got under 40 seconds the for the 400 meters. Hey, Johnson what is the world record for the 400? Previous in the year 2000. Although he did fall short of the world record, this time is unbelievable. He could keep going for another 100 meters, no doubt. If you'll notice, the track is actually wet, and that's because there was actually light rain during his race. This undoubtedly slowed down his overall time. But what I found just even adds more to his legacy was how he finished the final 100 meters. Even though he was much heavier than the rest of the field, the final 100 meters was where he completely buried his competition. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he did tie up ever so slightly. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Game, but still, this final stretch was a real showcasing of his 400 meter potential. Bro, look at the technique. It's different. Since it's different to when he was younger, right? He keeps his head only one upright. Other ever improved on this over the top of his body rather than was backwards like that from 2017. it's quite amazing that bolt was in fact wade van Nick see that's the 400 meter runner isn't it van Niekirk. so 43.18 you are joking you are joking so that means bolt has to run the final 100 meters of his 400 meter dash in what in what 13 seconds 30.97 
So under so 12, 12, 12 point in fact let's let's work this out. Fourth 43.18 43.18 12.21 12.21 seconds Usain Bolt would have to have ran in this exact race the last hundred meter dash in which he'd do in his sleep. He'd do it backwards for God's sake. He would be the world record holder in the 400 meter dash if he ran it ever in a recorded meet. I'm telling you this right now. Damn. Because the only athletes to ever run faster than this were both Olympic champions in the 400 meters and they were also world record. Okay, well look, he ran well. He ran probably as, pretty much as well as he could and he still didn't beat Michael Johnson in the 300 meter. Now that last 100 meters from 3 to 400 would be the toughest in the fucking world. Especially especially if you've just run 300 meters in 30 seconds flat. But I reckon he could have done it. I reckon he could have done it. I reckon he could have shattered the world record just like he did in the 200 and just like he did in the 100. I'm going to say right here right now that if Usain Bolt trained for it, if Usain Bolt trained for the 400, he could have got at least under 43, if not under 42 seconds. And that would have been something to behold. Holders at the same event. For many, Bolt had obvious world record potential in the 400 meters, and many have speculated that he could in fact have run well under 43 seconds. This kind of performance would easily still be a world record, but unfortunately, We'll never know just how fast no, we won't. could have run. That is now really I unfortunate. The question off to you. What times could Usain Bolt have run in the 400 meters had he focused on this event? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time. I'm actually glad he put that question out there because I'm going to say, I look, I would have obviously would have done pretty fucking well to get under 42 seconds i'm gonna say 42.5 and that would have been just absolutely smashing the world record of 43.18 i'm gonna say he would have come in at a meet made it you know coasted in right maybe in olympic games coasted in through his heat like he always does coast in through the semi get to the final and then put the fucking hammer down and he would have ran a 425 a 42.5 that's what i'm saying but what did these guys say in his absolute god world record prime <laughs> in 2009 he should have signed up for competitive diamond league 400 meters to break 43 i think he could have done it so do i okay people have put their answer underneath the question 43.21 or 42.89 well that makes absolutely no sense matthew um could have broken 43, 42.958, under 43, 42.5, 42.7, 42.81, 43.13, 42 42.75. There's someone that said, I think he would have struggled to break 44, to be honest. Unpopular opinion, I know. He struggled with too many 200 meters as it is, though. Did he really? Did he really? Well, at the end of the day, when it counted... In the Olympic Games, he came through. And that is why he is the legend he is today. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. In the next one, we're going to watch Matthew Bowling shocking the world. And I cannot wait. So I will see you all then. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I am extremely sunburnt today. <sighs> She's not good, mate. She's not good. She's not a good look. Gotta watch the sun around here, man. You gotta watch the sun. I'm hoping this clears up. I don't want a red face forever. But that's what you get when you go out in the sun in New Zealand in summer. There's no ozone layer here. Anyways, guys, I do want to say a quick thank you to all of the new subscribers. Um, anyone that is watching this video and haven't, you know, for the first time, hasn't seen me before, I want to say thank you so much. And at the end of the day, all these videos are just for fun. I create the content that I enjoy. You know what I mean? If I wasn't enjoying what I was watching, then I wouldn't be making this video. And you can count on me for at least that. If nothing else, at least that. So with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.